Hello, welcome to Ellie Me Toys. Today we return to the world of the casual Disney princesses where we take the princesses, take their ball gowns away. Well, that sounds a bit rough, but you know, their ball gowns are elegant and gorgeous and highly, highly uncomfortable. So we give them some clothes that are comfortable to hang out and sloth around in just like you saw in Wreck-It Ralph. And we even made them some bean bags for the hangout room. But I haven't managed to customize all the princesses yet. It's a very slow process. So I've got five of the girls done. Whose turn is it today to get some comfy, comfy clothes? Let's find out. Oh, Elsa is here. So does that mean Elsa's going to get some comfy casual clothes? She's run away again. Maybe she doesn't like the idea of comfy casual clothes. Oh, yes, yeah, she does. But she had to go back out and help Anna bring in this new bean bag for the hangout room so that the girls would have something to sit on. So today we are going to make some really comfy clothes for Anna and for Elsa. So for the Frozen sisters. So let me see. Whoa, we'll start with Elsa because she was here first. It's only fair. We'll get rid of her crown because that just looks uncomfortable. This is where we're aiming for. This is the look that she had in Wreck-It Ralph. She actually has an ombre look in her shirt and that, well, her big, long, sloppy Joe kind of thing. And that was actually quite tricky to achieve. So I might have cheated a bit there. Let's see what I've decided to do. So I went with some black leggings because that's what she's wearing. But instead of using the ombre, I actually created the ombre effect with some sparkles because, hello, frozen glitter icy bits. And I made her shoes sparkly too. Put the Just Let It Go logo on her shirt. And I think I achieved the ombre look. Is that even the right word? Like the gradation between between the lighter color and the darker color going down her long shirt. I think it actually worked quite well and it was an easier way to do it than to try and blend two different color paints up past a skirt because I've made the skirt be her nice big long line t-shirt and she's brought some popsicles to the party. Cause icy and cold, you know, so, and they're really good hangout food. So she's got two popsicles. Elsa, do you have enough for everybody? Oh, hold on, it's raining popsicles. It's raining popsicles from out of the sky. I think we now have enough popsicles for all of the princesses who are here currently anyway. This is cool. So everybody gets a popsicle. You get a popsicle and you get a pop. No, you don't get a popsicle Snow White because you're asleep. But you get a popsicle to go with your pizza, Ariel. Yum, popsicles and pizza. Uh, Belle doesn't want one because it'll get her book all sticky. Uh, but Rapunzel would definitely like a popsicle. And now we just need to rearrange things a little bit so we can fit in this new bean bag. And Elsa is all comfy with her double hands of popsicles and it's Anna's turn. Okay, this is Anna's look from Wreck-It Ralph and her hair is already in a braid in her updo, but she's got two braids, cutest look ever, down either side. And this hair piece here works really well, except that it's blonde. So I fixed that by painting it brown. Ta-da! So now her hair is actually, this is like the best hair ever. I think this works absolutely perfectly for her casual look. The rest of it was really fun to do too. So for her bottom half, I made her some little high top black sneakers, just like she was wearing in Ragged Ralph. And for her top, I just gave her the t-shirt. So I took off her flanny that she was wearing because I, after I knocked them over, I actually just wanted to be able to see the logo finish each other's sandwiches. See, and I couldn't see that if I had the flannelette long sleeved shirt over the top. So for me, the logo was the most important part and she looks so cute, so comfortable. And she's brought her own sandwich. In fact, this is a giant sandwich. There's gonna be enough here to be able to share with everybody. <laughs> so Anna is now super duper comfy and ready to join the rest of them in the hangout room. Now they look so chilled out. Oh, actually quite literally, because they're all eating popsicles. Speaking of popsicles, there are popsicles just lying on the floor here. So I'm going to get this little ice bucket and I'm going to pop the leftover of popsicles in here for the other Disney princesses when they turn up. Speaking of which, I feel so sorry for them. They're so uncomfortable in their ball gowns and they really, really want some comfortable clothes. So who are we going to customize their casual clothes next? Is it going to be Aurora or Merida or Moana or Cinderella? or Tiana or Jasmine or Pocahontas who I don't actually have a Lego mini doll for. 
so I would have to be creative there. Or I'm actually thinking that it might be a great idea to make Vanellope out of one of my toddler midi dolls because I've already got the perfect hair and the perfect size doll. What do you reckon? Do you think this hair is perfect? I just need to put some like a little licorice strap in it and some candy and I think yeah I think we could actually work with this. So who are we customizing next? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you like the video if you enjoy seeing these sort of videos. Do subscribe to all those things that I love for you to do and I'll see you with a new video very very soon. So I'll see you then. Makes perfect sense. Bye!